On September 18th, the Federal Reserve gets a much anticipated easing cycle. Now, the ramifications of lower rates will be felt by most all assets, but nowhere is it felt more directly than in currency markets. A common driver of currency fluctuations is called a carry trade, and it takes advantage of rate differentials between countries. In an extremely low rate country like Japan, traders have the incentive to borrow yen at the low rate and use it to buy dollars, then invest those dollars in higher rate US bonds. This has the effect of weakening the currency of the low rate country while strengthening the currency of the higher. Now, as the interest rates begin to converge, this incentive diminishes. Now, according to the CME FedWatch tool, futures markets are pricing in a drop in the Fed funds rate from current level to 2.8% in the next 15 months. Now, will this weaken the dollar against the world's currencies? Well, the answer to that question depends on the rate path of those other countries as well. Now, in Japan, the BOJ is actually expected to be raising rates in the future, and that's been a driver of the yen's nearly 14% rally against the dollar in just the last two months. Now, the signal from the remaining global central banks may not be as clear, as the Bank of England, the ECB, and the banks of both Canada and Australia are planning on easing alongside the Fed. An important question in currency markets will be what level of aggressiveness will each bank display along with what will the absolute level of rates be compared to the other countries.